you will never be as good as I am at playing on the guitar. Stop. Don't hit the hate button yet. I promise I have a point. Stick with me till the end of the video. This lesson has been incredible for me. It really helped me in my playing. I think it'll do the same for you. That's coming up. Hi, my name is David Wallerman. Welcome to this channel, which is all about helping players like yourself develop their own voice on the instrument. When I started playing, I was about 15 years old and I, got into guitar after hearing an interview by Joe Satriani on TV at the time. And he was speaking of the instrument as an instrument, as the pencil that you use to tell your story. And that got me on the path of musical discovery. At first, I didn't really understand what it meant to really express yourself on the guitar. I thought it was about learning licks, learning songs, playing those, performing those, and yes, that has a big part of it, but I think there is a, a hidden gem behind all that uh, apprenticeship. If we see music as a language, that means that there are stories to be told. Even if you think that you don't have that creative mind to make up things and that everything you play has been heard before, it hasn't because you have your own voice, whether you want it or not. Let's take a simple example. I love ice cream. They say, I love ice cream. I love ice cream. I love ice cream. I love it more. I love ice cream. Is that it? Did I, did I nail it? One take? One take. You, you know what? I think this, this requires a walk off. One take. One take. Okay, so we all love ice cream. We all said the same exact thing, yet you could recognize each of us speak. And we do it naturally when we speak with our voice. If this is our instrument, we can see this as our, our body, an extension of our body. The idea doesn't really come from this. The idea doesn't come from my vocal cords. The idea comes from inside. Naturally, when we speak, it's easy to convey those ideas through our, our human body. If this is our instrument, this should become an, an extension of our body. This should be mastered. That's why we learn scales, songs, licks, theory concepts. But the real work behind this is not to, to memorize all that like, like a monkey would, but it's really to, to learn how to use this in a way that it's an extension of our body so that we can, we can share all our stories, all our emotional things through this. I love ice cream. I say this all the time. I'll say it again. It's not the pencil that tells the story. It's the author. The pencil is the tool. It's not the guitar that tells the story. It's the inner musician. This is your tool. So why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I want you to be happy in your musical journey. Just realize that no one can play like you. Yes, if we're talking about technique, some people might be more advanced technically, some people might know more theory things, and, and you could strive to, to increase your knowledge, but nobody can touch who you are on the instrument. I really believe that. Once you truly understand that, and once you really embrace the fact that you are unique and you're awesome, and that frees you from the anxiety, from the frustration that you could have because you can't nail this particular lick or this song is just too hard for you to play. Maybe it is, and maybe it's not because it's just a technical thing. Maybe it's simply because you are not Steve Vai. Maybe some of the things that Steve is playing are very easy for him, and I believe that a lot of them are. They come naturally to him. If you ask Steve to play something that I play, I'm not saying that he couldn't play, but it might not be natural. It might be a little bit harder and that's okay. That proves the point that there is something very unique in each one of us and embracing that will help you strive, will help you feel more fulfilled musically. Work towards the things that come naturally to you. The idea here is that whatever you approach musically, whether it's a technique, a theory concept, harmony, whatever it is, make it work for you and make it serve your, your true voice, your inner voice. 
find what comes naturally to you. That's gonna be a clue as to what your voice is. Record yourself playing, whether it's something written or improvised, then go back to it and find those nuggets in there. Find the things that make you be you. In other words, don't get frustrated because you feel that this player is playing in a way that you can never play. You're right but you're also playing in a way that he will never be able to touch. I hope this video frees you from some of the frustrations you might feel as a player. It's gonna be okay. Remember, if you can't play the way he plays, it's okay because he can't play the way you play. If you haven't subscribed to this channel already, consider doing that because I've got more videos coming on a regular basis. All these videos aim to help you express yourself musically in a better and more efficient way. Remember, nobody can play the way you play. You will never be as good as I am at playing like David Wallerman on the guitar.